Just roll the clip. Oh yeah, I see lots of lots of people keep asking about Kingdom Hearts. I don't know. I don't know why. Is that because I guess because we did uh, we did Final Fantasy uh, Rebirth last year or something like that. But um, yeah, it's <laughs> people are setting themselves up for failure. But it's uh, you guys can keep keep hoping. Yep, just. Ripping the Band-Aid right off. As you saw right there, Jeff Keighley, the host and organizer of Summer Games Fest, just did a live stream a few hours ago talking about Summer Games Fest, you know, just talking about some certain stuff and what to expect. And during that, apparently he got a lot of questions about Kingdom Hearts. He said that if you're expecting Kingdom Hearts at Summer Games Fest, he didn't say specifically Kingdom Hearts 4, but, you know, that's definitely what he's implying there. Uh, you're setting yourself up for failure. To quote him directly. More than likely, that means that Summer Games Fest, no Kingdom Hearts 4, move on to the next event. Like we always do. Um, I mean, at least we know. At least he had, I guess, the decency to tell us that it wasn't going to be there. He also said that uh, Metal Gear Solid Delta, the remake of MGS3, is not going to be there either. So it's not just Kingdom Hearts specifically that he was dogging on there. But this is kind of surprising to me because I was kind of personally expecting Kingdom Hearts in some form. To be there at least a mention of something like the steam release or something like that at some small capacity because of what jeff has been doing right around the time that the games got announced for steam he was tweeting his own announcement of the thing to share with his followers and he shared a, a picture of kingdom hearts 3 with rabbit whispering something in Sora's ear like telling Sora a secret or something and also sending like a heart emoji to the remix of simple and clean and which is rare too because he never really talks about kingdom hearts at least that i'm aware of to see him picking up activity for kingdom hearts right before summer games fest seemed a little bit Odd. Maybe he's just been hiding he's a Kingdom Hearts fan this whole time and just was embarrassed by it. I don't know. According to what he says here, uh, that does not seem to be the case. But some parts are making me a little miffed about this clip right here. Let's first start off with the way he said it. If people keep asking about Kingdom Hearts, I don't know I don't know why. Dude, you have not really tweeted or talked about Kingdom Hearts before, and all of a sudden you start doing so right before the biggest gaming event of the year. And you're surprised by that? I mean, he mentioned the part about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth being there last year, but like, come on. There's more to it than just that. And he said it with kind of a smug attitude, too. I mean, it's Jeff Keighley. He has that PR, gaming PR, um, you know, just stage presence voice. The way he said, I don't know why, it's just so weird. Or there's the maximum copium going on here, so sit down, guys. He's lying. Because as some people have pointed out on Twitter, if you look at the body language he has in this clip, He's been, you know, he's rubbing his face and scratching his nose and kind of stumbles his way through it as well. That's leading some people to think that he might be playing a bluff here and maybe he's just not supposed to say that it's there and he was just saying it for the live stream. And that's maximum copium right there, though. Um, he's saying it in a very playful manner, but I do think that, you know, he's a professional about this. I don't know if he would necessarily lie on a stream like that. Would not put my hopes up for Summer Games Fest at this point. Who knows? Anything could happen. He could be lying there, but I do think it's a lot of people just trying to cope with this news. And I don't hate Jeff or anything like that. I don't think he's a bad person for doing this. He's doing his job. He's not supposed to be wholly dedicated to the Kingdom Hearts community. I don't hate him because of that. I just think he could have said it a little better. That's all. But yeah, it's been that. I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever that's going to be. So yeah. Bye.